What's up, African Superstar family? I can't believe it. It's summertime in the UK. Unbelievable. It's actually more sunny here than it was in Ghana. Can you can you imagine? In Ghana, we've been having an extreme rainy season. Huh? <laughs> we didn't even have that kind of rainy season last year. So yeah, I'm back in my European life. I'm just happy that the sun is shining for now. Sky looks pretty clear, so we hope that it remains. So yeah, it's now um, early July here in the UK. This is typically like the time that I like to come, um, when I'm gonna come, because this is probably the warmest time of the year in the UK. So, um, and typically, you know, before winter comes, I'm out. Like O-U-T-T, T-T-T. Uh, this time last year I came. Last year I left probably two days after my birthday. Um, this time I left like about a week and <laughs> after my birthday. Always dragging my feet when it comes down to traveling here. Um, but yeah, I'm happy the sun is shining, it's great. I've been having a breakout on my skin lately and I think it has to do with the fact that it really wasn't sunny in Ghana. You know, we've been having rainy season for the past two months and it's been extremely overcast. I mean, I haven't had any pool days, no beach days. So yeah, I'm happy to get the sun today. Um, I'm heading to my old hometown, Northampton. I have some stuff to do. My hairdresser's there, although she's sick today. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to see her. Tarzan requested that I come to the studio tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to make that happen. Tarzan is obviously um, the artist I did a collab track with in April. Uh, we recorded our first track called UK to Ghana and it's fire. So <laughs> stay tuned for UK to Ghana. I think it's going to be a big one. It might be my, you know, first international hit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I'll take you guys with me on a journey, um, to Northampton and not too much going on here. I'm just going to stop by the shop. I got some business. I need to go to the bank and then have lunch and then return back to where I am. One of the first things that I always, you know, experience is the change of lifestyle. In Ghana, I take cars everywhere, but here, this is what it is. <laughs> this is what it is, y'all. Buses, trains, you know what I mean? I rarely get an opportunity to take Uber or boat because first of all, I don't think they even have boat here. Um, but Uber is really expensive. Like you can take Uber for like five minutes. It's going to be like 20 pounds. So ain't nobody got money like that. You know, let people carpooling, huh? Getting a lift to work. Really sunny guys. This is great. So yeah, if you guys are here in the UK, um, you know, obviously I can't see everybody. You know, but it, within reason, if you're trying to link up, let me know. I probably will be working a little bit here. I got to get in contact with the agency and see. That's a whole nother animal. So to, next week we'll be working on that. Um, I mentioned on a previous vlog that my videographer that I work with here, he is from Zimbabwe. His name is Daniel. Um, he's done some extraordinary projects that I've seen. So I'm really excited to shoot with him. He was in South Africa for the past several weeks working on a project there and he flies into tomorrow. So we're gonna get together and discuss the project. I have some concepts and y'all probably don't know, but your girl, I've been behind all the videos so far. Yes, um, as far as my team in Ghana, I usually provide the concept of what I want the video to look like. and. They've done an excellent job on delivering those projects. So, you know, I have a concept for UK to Ghana and um, I've already discussed it with, you know, both the artist and the videographer. So we're going to try to bring that thing to life. You know, I don't want to leave here um, before getting that done. So I've kind of allotted a time frame of <laughs> to get that done. And um, when I once we get that done, I'll release that. Now, that's not part of my EP. 
I do also have an upcoming EP for every action there's a reaction I went to the studio the day before I traveled um, and completed my EP so the EP will have six tracks um, that includes three unreleased tracks and some of the tracks already Heartbreak Wednesday um, come chill with me and also liar 2022 will be on the EP so there are three additional tracks that are actually recorded this week so the EP is done um, we just have to do the photo shoot the cover art and we'll be ready to rock with that your girl is on it okay some people claim to be music artists but I can't tell <laughs> and I would also say if you're an artist and you think you want to collab with me you got to have something to show okay if you don't have any social media presence no videos no recordings you're not performing I'm sorry okay cuz I'm actually trying to get up so when I collab I kind of need to be collabing with pre-established artists if you feel me if you're new you got to demonstrate that you ready to do something you know cuz just trying to jump on my tail wing that's not a good look no so yeah um, so that's what it is we almost to the train station it's probably like about a 15 minute walk from where I'm staying which is good I quite need some exercise because June with all the projects I had going on I didn't even get to go to the gym you know the two music videos the, the photo shoot I didn't have time so I need to get back on my fitness I will probably get a gym membership set up next week you know yeah so they've actually got new ticket machines since the last time I was here um, and so I'm trying to navigate them I also noticed that the ticket prices have gone up a little bit and you know I was last here in April so a little over two months ago and the train tickets have gone up again a little word to the wise if you are getting return tickets so essentially a round trip make sure you pick up your both of your tickets last time I was in such a rush <laughs> that I grabbed the first ticket as it was printing out and ran to the train and left my second ticket there so make sure you're always getting both tickets out of the machine okay guys so I'm at the platform um, the first train is basically a non-stop to London it only has like one stop before it goes which is Watford Junction you guys can see that yeah so they do have some trains that are express and they won't do all the stops um, so my train is gonna come after this and my train will stop here you know it'll stop it'll make a couple stops before I get to Northampton I believe <laughs> It's two or three stops away, Lord have mercy. I tell y'all, being international, sometimes you get stuff mixed up. And it's amazing how, you know, your everyday reality supersedes. I don't take the train every day. Um, I haven't been to the UK for a couple months now. I came in April for a few weeks. Um, so yeah, yeah. But the train system is super easy to navigate here in the UK. If you can read, you should be able to take the train. I love the train that's that's one of the things I love about living in Europe is how convenient it is now I did notice that the train tickets went up again since the last time I was here um, the the round trip from rugby to Northampton which is up and back or as they call it here in the UK return the return trip it was about seven pound 20 pence the last time I was here now it's over eight pounds so um, things are definitely going up here I haven't been to the grocery store yet but I will take you guys along to see some of those prices I used to spend maybe about 50 pound a week on groceries when I was here and I can go out to eat a lot in Ghana but here I have to be in the kitchen cooking and frying up and whatnot <sighs> so yeah we'll see how much my weekly uh, shopping will cost me now it used to like I said it used to cost me about 50 pound to get food for the week so yeah this is the rugby train station guys so rugby is probably um, 
a little over two hours away from London. Um, yeah, so that's just to give you some proximity for those of you that don't know where this is. It's outside of London, about two hours by train or so. Um, yeah. <laughs> The train was really slow pulling into the station for some reason, like it took him <laughs> a really long time to come into the platform. Um, one thing you have to know also is when you're riding the train, make sure you hit the open button of the door. There have been situations where I was on the train, standing at the door, not paying attention on my phone, and before I know, the train has pulled off and gone to the next stop because the doors do not automatically open unless you push the button. So. We're entering the Northampton station. Like I said, the journey was only about 30 minutes. It's, it's actually two stops away from Rugby. And I'm going to exit the train now and exit the station. Okay, guys, that was probably like the most dramatic stop ever. So um, after about 30 minutes or so, I'm in Northampton now. So I'm going to run my errands and let that be that. So that concludes the end of this vlog. I know. I hope you guys enjoyed the train. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Till we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.